These AWS cloud projects will give you such an unfair advantage that some people might call it cheating. And no, I'm not exaggerating. Just last week, one of my students landed a six-figure job at AWS using these exact portfolio projects. Hi, I'm Suleiman. I've worked in tech for a decade, and today I run my own AI cloud security consultancy. In this video, I will share five AWS projects that will give you an unfair advantage in today's job market. We'll start beginner-friendly, but each stage gets progressively harder to build your skills for the final capstone project at the end. And for each one, we'll examine three key points, the problem that it addresses, how to actually build it, and finally, the business impact that will make any hiring manager pay attention. Project number one is a smart static website. But firstly, what problem are we solving? Now look, everyone can host a basic website on AWS. That's old news. What actually matters is building something secure, fast, and smart with your resources. Now you can't just dump an HTML file somewhere and call it a day. Think about it. You've got hackers coming from everywhere. Users who will just bounce if your site takes more than a second to load. And budgets which needs to be managed. And that's the real problem that we're solving here. For the tech stack, we're going deep with AWS. We'll start with S3. That's the foundation for our storage. But here is where things get good. We're going to plug in CloudFront to blast that content worldwide very fast. Security-wise, AWS Certificate Manager will handle HTTPS and we're throwing WAF in front to block the sketchy traffic. Plus, CloudWatch keeps an eye on everything with custom dashboards and alerts. And here is why this hits different in interviews. You are showing you get the whole picture. It's not just, oh, look, I can host a website. You're building something that is secure, global, and smart about your resources. By the way, make sure you wait for the capstone project at the end. That will make it impossible for you not to get hired. Project number two is our silent scalper. Now, what's the problem? Problem that we're solving. So companies that deal with data in the cloud are usually hit with two major roadblocks, especially if the architecture hasn't been designed properly. Firstly, they waste money on servers sitting idle most of the time. Secondly, when traffic suddenly spikes, their systems crash because they haven't provisioned any extra resources. No one wins here. Either you're burning cash or you are losing data. So we're going to build a serverless pipeline that fixes this problem. We'll start with S3 as our entry point. Any file that lands here automatically triggers a Lambda function. This is the key because you're only paying when you're actually processing data. The Lambda function processes these files. It could be filtering data, converting formats, and whatever your business needs. Now, when processing succeeds, the data goes into DynamoDB for quick access. We chose DynamoDB because it scales instantly with your workload. And if something fails, maybe the file's corrupted or Lambda times out, we move it to a separate quarantine bucket for manual review. This way, bad data never breaks your system. You'll implement CloudWatch to track everything, how many files you're processing, you know, how long it takes, error rates, and we'll set up SNS notifications for critical issues. Now, if error rate spikes or processing times get too high, you will know immediately. And if you need to expose this system to other applications, API Gateway will give you a secure and controlled interface. Now, this really matters because your data processing pipeline often needs to interact with external systems or applications. Now think of these projects as preparing you for the real world. For example, imagine you're building this for a medical imaging company. Their mobile data needs to upload x-ray scans and hospitals need to send patient records for processing. API Gateway lets them do this securely without directly accessing your AWS resources. So it handles authentication through API keys and IAM roles, encrypts data in transit, and lets you monitor and control exactly who's accessing what. So even when you have thousands of hospitals sending sensitive data at the same time, they can't access anything that they shouldn't, but their data still flows through smoothly and securely. Now, project number three is the smart vault. So again, what problem are we solving? Well, in 2025, data loss can devastate the reputation of any business. When your systems crash or someone wipes important files, you're not just losing money, you are losing customer trust. And while everyone implements backups, that that alone isn't enough. With this project, we are making those backups smart. We're talking automatic, correctly timed, and not burning money on storage that you don't need. Now, to do this, we're going to be using EBS snapshots to back up our EC2 instances because they are incremental and you only pay for the change blocks of data. EventBridge schedules these snapshots daily or hourly, depending on how critical your data is, because manual backups are prone to human error. And here is exactly 
how we build it. Firstly, we tag all the important EC2 instances with the flag of backup true. This tag based approach gives us flexibility. You can easily add or remove instances from the backup schedule without changing any code. And then we can write a Lambda function that does three things when event bridge triggers it. Firstly, it finds all the instances with our backup tag. This makes the system dynamic and scalable. Secondly, it creates new snapshots and labels them with metadata such as data, time and environment, which is crucial for tracking and auditing. And thirdly, it deletes any snapshots older than our retention period to prevent storage costs from ballooning. Then we use SNS notifications so you get an alert when backups happen or if something fails. Because you need to know immediately if your backup system isn't working. CloudWatch will track your snapshot count and storage size, which helps you optimize for costs and compliance. And if you need extra redundancy, we can use S3 to store these backups in different regions, which is critical for disaster recovery scenarios. As I always say, data is the new oil. And with this cloud project, you're showing you know how to save companies thousands, if not millions of dollars by avoiding downtime and it helped them comply with regulatory requirements if they need need certain data retained for a specific period. Now, before we get to the next project, which leverages AI, if you're serious about building a portfolio of cloud projects, then go check out my Cloud Engineer Academy, where we dive in deep into the cloud and help people like you build cloud expertise. A number of our students got hired at AWS from being complete beginners. So if you're interested, go check out the link in my description below. Now, project number four, the AI customer service bot. And I know what you're thinking, but this isn't just a no code or drag and drop AI chat what that you see everyone else talking about. Now, as cloud engineers, we're actually uniquely positioned to take advantage of the AI boom because everything is deployed to the cloud and most people haven't even clocked onto this. With that in mind, we're going to solve two problems with this project. Number one, a huge bottleneck for businesses is customer support as it relies purely on human agents. Number two, everyone has tried to fix this problem by jumping onto no-code chatbots and drag and drop solutions, but they are hitting walls. Custom business logic, security, and integrations need real code behind them. And here is how we're going to build it. Firstly, we need a way for customers to send messages to our bot. This can be from your website, from a mobile app, or wherever. The message hits our API gateway, which is just AWS's way of letting external applications securely communicate with our system. From there, our Lambda function picks it up and does the smart work. Firstly, it checks the message context. Is this a new conversation? Is it an ongoing issue? We then put or any history from DynamoDB. Then we structure a prompt for Amazon Bedrock and we include the customer's question, relevant conversation history, your company's tone guidelines, specific business rules or restrictions. Bedrock processes this and generates a response. Before sending it back, our Lambda function will validate the response against any business rules, adds necessary links or resources, formats it to your brand's voice and tags it for routing if it needs human attention. For example, if Bedrock couldn't generate a response back. And DynaDB will track everything. CloudWatch will make sure responses are fast and on point with SNS alerts if something is off. Now, the magic here is that we are leveraging AI and that will make you stand out. Anyone can connect to an AI API, but building a system that actually represents a brand and handles real business scenarios, that's what the top 1% cloud engineers do, which sets you up perfectly for project number five, an intelligent dock engine, our capstone project. So again, what problem are we solving? with this project. Businesses today are completely overwhelmed with documents, medical records, financial statements, and compliance reports. Literally, they have thousands of them. And right now, people are manually reading these, trying to extract important information, and it's becoming unmanageable. It's slow, it's expensive, and crucial details get missed. While some companies use basic OCR, that just gives them raw text without any real understanding or insights. The intelligent doc engine transforms this whole process. Start Starting with Amazon S3 as our document foundation, when any document arrives, whether it's a PDF or an image or a contract, it automatically triggers our processing workflow through Lambda. And instead of basic OCR, we will use Amazon Textract because it truly understands documents. It recognizes tables, forms, and the overall structure of documents. But just extracting text isn't enough. We use SageMaker to run machine learning models that do two crucial things. Firstly, it turns document text into numerical representations that capture meanings, i.e. embeddings, so our system can understand when different phrases mean the same thing. For example, Q4 revenue hit 2 mil and fourth quarter revenue reached 2 mil mean the same thing. So their numerical representations will be C 
similar as well. Secondly, it powers our question, answering capability and letting users ask natural questions about their documents and get accurate answers drawn from relevant content. Now we store these embeddings in OpenSearch, which lets us quickly find relevant information when someone asks a question. The process is seamless. When a user asks something, we convert their question into the same type of numerical format, find matching document sections, and generate an accurate answer using the relevant context. Now to keep track of everything, we use DynamoDB to store essential document information when it was processed, who uploaded it, and the current status. This gives us instant access to document details when we need them. And what makes this system truly powerful is how it keeps improving. We've just built an MLOps pipeline that collects data from user interactions, automatically tests improvements, and safely deploys better versions. When the system encounters new documents or questions, it learns and adapts, becoming more accurate over time. This is exactly what companies are desperately looking for in 2025, how to combine cloud services with machine learning and AI models. You're literally helping them make sense of their data and saving them so much time. Now that said, you can't build these projects without having fundamental cloud knowledge under your belt, which is why you need to watch this video right here where I break down the complete cloud engineer roadmap for 2025.